What's going on everybody? John again here with another drive-by devotional. Today we are going to talk about on our ride home from work, faith without works. This concept is taken way, way out of context. It is blown way out of proportion almost every single time I hear somebody uh, talk about it. Faith without works is dead. This is what the verse says. Right? You're looking at James chapter 2, verse 19 and 20. However, the three top rules of Bible study. Number one, context. Number two, context. And number three, that's right, context. Context is key. Context is king. The context of this is uh, a few verses prior. James chapter 2, verse 15 and 16, where it talks about if somebody's asking you for food or clothes, you're going to say, hey, I'll pray for you. Don't worry. Then you're just being a jerk. That's what James is saying. Stop being a jerk. I've got stronger words that I'd like to use, but, you know, we'll want to keep it uh, in case some kids want to watch too. In other words, your prayer is useless. If you can help this person out, give them a little food or some clothes or help them out with whatever it is they need, then your prayer is just a show of self-righteousness. And it's just a show of ritual, religiousness. That's not the heart of God. And as Galatians 6, 7, and 8 says, things done in the flesh proves corruption. I would go as far as to say, if you were a pastor or somebody else, that does something at the church and you're on your way to church and you run across somebody that needs your help and you can help them out. I don't care if you're the pastor. You call them up and say, hey, yo, I'm going to be a few minutes late. I got something I got to do. That's the heart of God. If you think that your church attendance is more important than helping out somebody that needs it, well, then you ain't got the heart of God. Now, let's be honest. We all do this kind of thing once in a while, so I'm not trying to be judgmental. I do this kind of thing too. Every once in a while, we, we all fall short. So that's not the point. Uh, the point is that Jesus is not a ritual. Jesus is not a let's go to church that makes everything okay church is cool and church is good but if you think going to church is more important than helping people then let's reevaluate how you understand Jesus now that being said that being said the context of the verse has nothing to do with salvation. All you hear all the time is people saying things like, well, faith without works is dead. If your life doesn't change, you're not saved. That's not what it means. I just explained what it means. It has nothing to do with salvation. Because in John 3.16, we all know we believe you're saved. Ephesians 2, 8, 9, right? Saved by faith, uh, by grace through faith, not of works. Salvation. The context of that verse is, you know, you can have faith in your prayer and your religiosity all you want, but it's going to mean nothing. It's dead faith. If it, because remember, 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 3 says that anything I do, even my faith that's not done in love, is vanity. So, my friends, this is not meant to condemn, not meant to be judgmental, because we all fall short of the glory of God, right? That's why we need Jesus. But it is meant to bring light to something that I believe is a 
terrible misunderstanding and misuse of a verse that people do use to judge and condemn people and do use to make themselves feel better than others by saying, well, your life hasn't changed as much as mine or your life hasn't changed, so you may not be saved. That's not for you to decide, is it? And it's not for me to decide. And that is not the context of the person. My friends, God bless and have a great day.